This is the Farmington Feed, bringing you information from the city of Farmington. Hi, and welcome back to the Farmington Feed. I'm Corinne Hodgnicki, the city's communications specialist, and I'm hungry for another episode of the Feed. Today we have with us our new skate school director, Molly Burmeister, and we're here to talk about our new Learn to Skate classes. Welcome, Molly. Thank you for having me. So can you remind me when you started with the city and then briefly let our listeners know about your background and your role here? Yeah, I started last year in August. Um, I took over the first program session started in November. And so I had a couple months of just catching up and learning from the previous director how she ran things and starting my own kind of journey. Um, I grew up skating. I grew up coaching Learn to Skate and went to school, came back, started coaching again, and just decided to try out Learn to Skate as a director and see what this world is like. So rather than being on the ice coaching, Mm -hmm. I get to see the back end of things and yeah, Get that's exciting. Teach little ones how to skate, but also interact with parents in the community. Yeah, for sure. So did you grow up in Farmington or near here? So I grew up in Egan and I grew up skating in Burnsville. So I've kind of been all over the South Metro. Um, so let's get to the topic at hand, learn to skate. Mm-hmm. It is a U.S. figure skating program, correct? Yes. I did learn that at my last job working yes. at an ice rink. <laughs> so it's actually learn to skate USA is... U.S. figure skating, U.S.A. hockey, and U.S.A. speed skating. Oh, they're all together. So they cover all three aspects of on-ice sports, and it's just a great introduction for kids to get on the ice in all disciplines. It gives you, like, goals for each level that they must attain to move on, correct? Yes. And it's not just, you know, for figure skating. So there's hockey and learning how to skate for hockey. and Yes, correct. Yeah, so um, so tell us a little more about the levels that, that they offer. Yeah, so Learn to Skate USA starts at the Snowplow Sam level, and then there's also our introductory class, which we'll get into in a little bit, too, but Snowplow Sam is the first levels that start on the ice. It teaches kids how to really fall down, stand up, Mm -hmm. move forward, gain their balance, and kind of gain their bearings on the ice, and that's where every skater starts, whether they want to be a professional hockey player, a speed skater, or a figure skater. And from there, they progress through learning how to do like forward skating, backward skating, edges, turns. Once you get past Snowplow Sam, you go into the next introductory levels that aim more towards the figure skating or hockey. And for our maybe older skaters, because Snowplow Sam is geared towards that three to six age range. Yeah, the young ones. Yeah. So if you are a little bit older than that and you're starting, you would start in our basic skills program, which is basic one. You are learning the same foundational skills of fall down, stand up. And that is for ages six and up. And so that can go all ages. Up until 18, where then you hit that adult level. Mm -hmm, For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I know when I first had to register my kid, I was so confused. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Like, where do we start? Where are they supposed to be? You know, in some places I know they do, parents are on the ice initially with the kids, and some places they aren't. Are we one of those places where the kids are with their parents or without? So if you are registered for the parent-child class, that means that you are also skating with Mm -hmm. your child. Which was not me. I made my husband (laughs) do it. (laughs) Yes, it is totally optional. Okay. And so for our parent-child class, the parent joins the child Mm -hmm. on the ice, and they get to learn together. So the parent doesn't need to be the strongest skater to join them. Yeah. But sometimes it gives those kids a little bit more comfort knowing that they have someone with them. Someone that they know, yeah. Yeah. But I also, if you're not comfortable skating on the ice... You can send your kid into a Snowplow Sam or a Basic One class, and they will do just fine. Our yeah. instructors do a great job of getting kids on the ice. Sometimes it takes a little bit uh-huh. on that first day, but I've been there. once they're on the ice, they're usually hooked, and then they are excited to play games and excited to learn how to skate. Yeah, because you guys make it fun, too. Yeah. It's not just like, this is how you do it. Yes, right? correct. <laughs> I know I've seen in other places that I've been with, they 
do the markers on the ice too. Yep. And I'm sure you guys do that. And I've seen yes. other little games. What are examples of some of the games they get to play? So a really popular game that our kids love to play is Mr. Fox. Okay, so yep. it's similar to what you would play on a playground, right. but they love that one. It's more of like a, you can march forward eight steps or if they're skating backwards, wiggle backwards mm-hmm. for four seconds, whatever they want to do. And Learn to Skate USA is all about fun. So we have markers, we have toys, we have bubbles. Oh, yeah, bubbles help yep. too, right? Yep. Because then they sure. chase the bubbles and they don't realize yes. they're actually kind of skating. Yes. <laughs> and that's usually how kids get hooked in is they see all the toys. We have a cart with a bunch of games and toys on it. And mm-hmm. yeah, they love it. <laughs> okay, cool. So I know that each year that skaters need to purchase their Learn to Skate membership and how much does that cost and how does that work? Because people can be confused about that as well. Yeah. So Learn to Skate memberships are purchased annually. I believe their year starts July 1st. Okay. So, so it's good from July to yep, June of next year. Correct. And so if you purchase a Learn to Skate membership, you just go on their website and it has a link right to it on LearnToSkateUSA.com. And a membership costs Seventeen dollars plus a dollar fifty tax. Right. So okay. really, they just need to say it costs eighteen dollars and fifty cents. Right. Um, but that covers you for a year, and that's good for no matter what Learn to Skate program you go to. Okay. And so, if you're coming from a new Learn to Skate program into Farmingtons, and you already purchased a Learn to Skate still good. membership, yeah, it okay. transfers over. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Do they have to supply you with a, a number or anything? Yeah. Okay. So when they register, they you would input your Learn to Skate USA membership number. And if you don't have it or if you forgot it for whatever reason, I'm able to look it up in the system. Oh, perfect. And if registration closes and the session's starting and I don't see a Learn to Skate membership, I just reach out to the parent who's listed on their registration and kind of walk you through the steps on how to obtain one before oh, session starts. Perfect. So we mentioned this just a minute ago. There are some new classes that came out this past summer. So can you tell me a little bit more about those? Yeah, we introduced three new classes, which I'm super excited about. We introduced our ice explorers, our adaptive skating, and our adult skating. So adult skating is, like it says, it's for anyone ages, I think we have it 16 and up, for sure. that can join this class. And... So you come, you learn how to skate, you can bring friends, they can learn how to skate with you. And it's just more of a community building exercise class, if you want to call it that. So yeah, it's a great way if you've either never learned how to skate before, or if you haven't laced up skates in a while, or if you just want some more guided instruction. It's a good way to get back on And it's cheaper than having a private lesson. Yes, (laughs) for sure. And you get to build some community and friends in the group too so yeah. that's really cool I'm sure my husband will want to tell me to take that class because I don't know how to skate <laughs> we'd love to have you <laughs> I don't know I'm what I'm one of those people that hugs the walls so what are the other ones you said ice so, explorers yep we have ice explorers which is our that's our like little little class so that's any child one and a half to three years oh, wow. old that's yeah. super young yeah one and a half to three years old and they are brought into the rink and we don't start on the ice quite yet it's oh, a, okay we follow learn to skate usa curriculum so they start by coming into the rink we get to know the rink get them comfortable with the zamboni and the yeah that could be scary and, yeah yep and so rather than putting them on the ice mm-hmm. they get familiarized and then they also learn a couple of the skills that they'll do on the ice we teach them off the ice first so okay. We teach them how to fall down and stand up safely without getting hurt. We teach them about how to march forward using big steps so that when they have clunky skates on, they can continue those big steps. So do they have the skates on with skate guards doing that on dry land? So for some of it, they do. Okay. Yep. So they start without just in tennis shoes Mm -hmm. and it's very low risk right not scary for them and then so you're um, just building them up yeah and then we talk about skates we talk about how to put skates on Mm -hmm. and then they have skates on they do some stuff off the ice and then we transition them onto the ice where they get to play games and yeah have do all the stuff that all the other kids are doing okay cool yeah and then your final new class was adaptive skating right yes yep so adaptive skating is 
for any individual who needs some more specialized equipment or if they have more developmental needs that aren't met in a normal big class big class yeah. and so they get individualized or more specialized attention mm-hmm. that um, can help them so it can be anything from a intellectual disability a physical disability it can be someone who's just struggling to deal with all the noise and everything yeah. that's going on in the environment yeah and so we really just adapt that class to fit their needs and make sure that they're having fun and enjoying skating like everyone deserves the chance to do for sure okay that's awesome so sessions available this fall um when do they start and how does that work so our next session is going to be four weeks long and it's october 5th through october 26th and it is from 8 15 to 11 15 in the morning so you'll get a 30 minute practice and a 30 minute lesson depending what level you're depending on, on mm-hmm. what level yep so when you register it'll give you some options for times if there's multiple classes offered in that level yep our deadline for registration is on october 3rd okay and if you have any questions registering they can reach out to me i'm happy to answer any and all questions and for sure if they get it put in if they put themselves in the wrong level or put their child in the wrong level like we could always adjust that yes yep so the instructors and i on the first day of classes are always watching for sure the kids to see if they would be better suited in a different group and mm-hmm. if they are it's usually within that same 30 minute time frame yeah so we just move them to a different class that's going to be more appropriate for their skill set perfect and then there's another session that happens after that correct yes Second session this fall starts November 9th and runs through December 21st, and it's a six-week session. We do skip the week of Thanksgiving. Perfect. But it's the same times in... On Saturdays. On Saturdays, yep. So 8.15 to 11.15. And after the four-week session, if you're signed up for that one and you get to the end of it, there's a couple days break between the end of the first fall session and the beginning of the second one where you will receive a report card that tells you what level you should register for for the next session. Perfect. So you don't need to guess or figure out if your child or you have progressed past certain levels. We give you a report card that says this is what you should register for. And again, if you get to that next session and you find out you've been put in the wrong class, we can always make adjustments. And yep get you where you need to be. Perfect. And then again, this will continue in the winter as well. Those dates haven't been set yet, yes. but we'll, that will be in a forthcoming uh, issue of the currents. Yes. Our winter correct. edition. So we kind of talked about a little bit of everything. If they don't know what class to start with, they can contact you. If they're in the wrong session, they can get transferred. What's the most important thing you want to tell those people that are interested in skating classes and either don't know where to start or afraid or whatever? What would, what would your advice be? Yes, everyone starts somewhere. Yeah. And skating is for everyone. So you are not too old, too young, too anything. Right. To be able to skate. It's yeah, for it. everyone. And I am I've been in the skating world a really long time. So I am happy to answer any questions you have. Whether you want to go the figure skating route or hockey route or speed skating, we'll get you set where you need to go. And again, I'm always available for questions. So whether you Send me an email or call me. I'm always happy to chat and kind of go through any questions or concerns that you might have about skating. Great. And, you know, I think it's important to talk about the fact that, you know, well, last year's ice rinks didn't last very long because of the weather. But when we do have a real winter Mm -hmm. and you want to go out skating on those outdoor rinks, like it's great to take a class just so you know what you're doing, right? Yes. I mean, then then you're safer on the ice, Mm -hmm. right? Because you know how to fall, you know how to get up, and you know how to do all those things with with your family and friends. And learning how to fall is the first step that every skater learns how to do. You can't You have to. You're going to fall, right? You're going to fall. So you have to learn how to do it gracefully, right? (laughs) Correct. Falling (laughs) is inevitable. Even I've been skating for how many years and I still will fall. And so it's learning how to fall and then how to get back up and try again because 
if you can do that, you're going to learn a lot and you're going to have a lot of fun. Oh, the one thing I just thought about for those littles, do you guys require helmets be worn for the littles? Yeah, great question. So helmets are required for all of our Snowplow Sam classes, as well as our basic one, which is our All the beginners, yeah. Yep, six and up beginner. And we also have our hockey one class, Mm -hmm. which is our beginner hockey players. And so... Hockey one also requires helmets Perfect. as well as all the hockey classes. Yeah. I mean, hockey players yeah. have to wear a helmet all the yep. time. So yeah. And some people think that if they're that little, they might not need it, but they, they need definitely it. need it. For sure. You never and know. And then from there, anyone who feels more comfortable wearing a helmet, we're not going to tell you no. Right. We encourage everyone to wear a helmet if they're going to feel safer. For sure. But yeah, for those beginner classes, it is a requirement. All right. Well, thank you for your yes. wealth of knowledge and information. Like super exciting to have these new classes. Yeah. And hopefully a lot of people get signed up this uh, fall. But I do want to talk about other um, skating opportunities. Mm-hmm. There's going to be no school open skate and open hockey um, in October on the Thursday, October 17th and Friday, October 18th. So open skate will be from 315 to 445 p.m. And that costs only $6 a person. And there will be skate rental available, correct? Yes. Open hockey will be broken down by levels and cost 11 per skater. Session times start at 10 for Pee Wee and U12, 11.45 for squirts and U10, and 1.30 for mites and U8. Skaters must skate with their age group and wear all their equipment to stay safe. Remember, Fall Learn to Skate has two sessions. The four-week session starts on Saturday, October 5th, and the six-week session starts Saturday, November 9th. Registration is available at webtrack.farmingtonmn.gov, and then look for our winter information in the currents coming up. Well, that concludes this month's episode of the Farmington Feed. Thank you for listening. We look forward to connecting with residents with this podcast. If you have any feedback, guest requests, or ideas, email me at communications at farmingtonmn.gov. Don't forget to subscribe to the Farmington Feed wherever you like to get your podcasts.